in a podcast of mine earlier, I mentioned um, like a pos- the possibility or some idea of like a heavy metal town or city. Now, someone commented um, who said, you know, there's already one in Wacken, which is in Germany. If you don't know, that's like one of the biggest metal festivals in uh, Europe. And I first knew about it thanks to, thanks to the metal documentary Metal Headbangers Journey. But the point about that was like, you know, I'm not really sure, like, I know that much about Vakken because Vakken Festival is only a three-day event. It's not a long, it's not a year-long thing. It's only, con- it's only confined to a festival. I mean, maybe, it, maybe there are some elements like it in the town of heavy metal, heavy metal itself. But, um, like, let me ask this about Vakken. Does Vakken have a heavy metal, like, heavy metal, like, me- metalized um, departments of, like, a regular city, like, a police department, a fire department, I mean, they do, but it's not, like, metalized, it's not like they have, like, like, the emblem of the Vakken fire department probably just have a devil horn sign on it, like, something like that, if you understand what I'm trying to get, like, metalizing, like, the emblem, or, like, what, how the vehicles look, or something like that, you know, to make it more, like, you know, to that, like, you know, like, that, uh, traditional, like, style of uh, design, you see what I'm trying to say here. Maybe like that too. Also, like I don't think like the schools in the area are really metalized. You know, we're talking about like trying to t- t- like what I'm trying to say is like a legitimate city, basically, like a legitimate city. I'm only opening this to up to a possibility. I'm not saying I'm the one who's going to start it up because I don't really actually obviously have the funds to start something like that up. But if I could, that would be awesome all right but like my plans for the city so others can hear it and take it into account and this would be a rock and roll heavy metal city now first first things first the city would have the basic necessities of every single city out there or town out there the police department the fire department would be paid through taxes the um you know maintenance everything like that all construction work brought in by unions and stuff like that. Now, the museum. There would be a museum, yes. And I know there's one already in Cleveland, Ohio, but because I feel as though we should, we should just make another one just for the heck of it. Um, the schools would also be more metalized, you know, like posters and banners, like hanging in the schools and stuff like that. Also, not just in the schools, but outside the schools, you know, like, at, we're gonna have, we should have, like, our own bus system in the city for public transportation, and possibly if we were to go even further than that, if the city was to get big enough, possibly a transit system, a train system, like a subway system, and, like, like, have something like that, and, like, like, the city would be a mix of capitalistic advertisements from companies and posters and banners propaganda of rock and metal music in general like you know like okay here's an example like it's kind of like taking in the Soviet Union propaganda posters and the United States's capital capitalistic advertisement propaganda for co- products commercials and stuff like that so it'd be a mix of that like in like in the Soviet Union they had like uh, posters of Lenin and like emblems of propaganda stuff like that and, and advertisements t- like towards the towards the socialist system over there in the United States you know how we have like pr- like advertisements all over the freaking place like not just commercials but like like everything like all these different advertisements, all these different, like, banners, posters, everything like that. So, that would be incorporated into this city. I'm argu- That's what I'm arguing for. But at the same time, it wouldn't be just, just be commer- products like that. It wouldn't be advertisements. It would also be, like, you know, you know, it would be banners and posters everywhere to, you know, like, signify that this is a different type of city. You know, that this city has, like, a stance towards something. That it has a stance towards metal and rock music. And that is citizens and local people are very dedicated towards that. The location of this city is not yet... I've not really looked into it yet. 
for a proper location for it. I'm thinking though, like le a legitimate place could probably be somewhere in Montana or, I or Idaho because those areas do not ha have a lot of people. It's sparsely populated and probably closer to mountains would be better because mountains would have ice from the mountains that would melt in the springtime that could be used as water. It could also be used as water. Power situation, you know, that would have to deal with like, you know, newing, using new green technology mostly. That's what I'm aiming for instead of just relying on fossil fuels. You know, look, be like, be like a leading innovator in greenhouse, in gre in that greenhouse and in a uh, new age technology fuel. You know, like solar panels, hydrogen, electricity. You know like electric running trains and stuff like that like you know they had that in cities already but like we would just be like the first city to ever do that like start up it like from the ground up not like adapt to it or like something like that and uh you know use wind power solar panels possibly water power like mostly like what i'm what i'm trying to aim for here is to become like is to have that happen is to like have it be electric powered it in different ways than what we're usually used to with like fossil fuels and coal and natural gas um the situation with media in the city itself um that's another story we're going to talk about because like it's still gonna be open to like all the different news media sources out there because it's almost like legitimately impossible to block it and uh that's something we just might have to overcome but like at the same time we can like adapt to that we can adjust to that because we still live in a capitalistic society and in capitalism you know the consumer gets the choice of what they want to do so in our city we can have like our own tv station or stations you know founded and made you know heavy metal tv stations where subscribers or consumers would just order in channel from like comcast or stitch network or any other satellite TV or cable TV provider. These these show we can have, we can make TV shows. That's the immediate aspect of it. Also, in terms of radio, I'm aiming towards the radio stations being like all rock and metal mostly. And I mean, th and I think that that can work on itself because if we can get all the people together from different parts of the United States or maybe even possibly from international as well to come to that city, then we wouldn't have a problem broadcasting metal radio and I think everyone would be pretty much happy with about that the only thing though about that is we would still have to go along the FCC's lines of law which means no vulgar language songs that's right no vulgar no vulgar no vulgar language songs um, the uh, the the um the city itself would have education of post secondary education a upper high pre, uh post high school education as well it would have um colleges and universities and these kind of different types of colleges would have like rock and metal studies classes you know like because it would be solely to that but so like what I'm trying to make it is like make an art school that would be like in the city's interest of rock and metal music like a music school or an art school with that kind of interest in it and at the same time have the city be a leading innovator in the fields of technology and science so we have a lot of like scientists be interested in what we're doing and have like a lot of interest in that a lot of interest in uh, technology you know working our technology with music at the same time working our technology with other stuff you know like making our city have leading innovators doing all this stuff at the same time back to the music portion we'd be holding festivals as well just like any other city just like obviously we have festivals right now we would be doing that um another thing i want to bring up is um the possibility of opening up and i don't know if this exists already it they might ex they might still exist but making it more popular again the possibility of opening up like clubs like like music clubs where like like instead of playing the music they need to play now clubs we play metal and rock music at clubs you know where we have a disc jockey who play who plays like 
uh, you know, digitally recorded songs. You know, that's a disc jockey. Anyway, the point is, play like metal and rock tunes for for the for the club, and have people go to those clubs and party and have a good time. But at the same time, it's not like going to a club and listening to techno or house or dance music or whatever because it would have this kind of different type of music. I mean, some people say, like, you know, you can't dance to rock and metal music. Well, that's not true at all. Of course you can dance to it. You can dance any kind of music you want to. You can make different moves for it. Just because you haven't tried to experience it or try to experiment with it doesn't mean it's not possible. Anyway, so, like, that's my idea for a, some kind of a metal city. I mean, like, it's just some idea I have. I mean, like, I'm, I don't really know why, like, anyone hasn't really not thought about it before, but, like, this is the first time, I guess, and I'm not really sure about that, but, like, I'm trying to, I'm just trying to bring it out to the open. Also, another thing, uh, as of right now, I still want, uh, Heavy Metal Day to be on September 18th, you know, like, I think we have a legitimate reason. I talked to a friend, I talked to a buddy of mine who was, uh, in a metal band from, I'm in, in a metal band, and I, told him about it, I was like, hey, you know, just check this out, see what you think about it, and, like, see what you think, and he's, and he's like, yeah, he totally agreed, he felt as though, he felt the same way about a heavy metal day that should be on September 18th, you know, to commemorate Paranoid's Black's, Paranoid's, uh, the album Paranoid from Black Sabbath, because that was one of the first, if not the first heavy metal album to ever come out, so what better way to celebrate heavy metal than to commemorate its, you know, debut into the music world. Anyway, so that's all the time that's all the podcasting I have for now and thanks for listening in. Bye.